July 21, 1865, Springfield, Missouri. Although duels in the Wild West were truly rare, Wild Bill Hickok and Davis Tet star in the first documented duel of the American West. Wild Bill Hickok, gunslinger and explorer, is a frequent poker player and is on a winning streak in the middle of a poker game. Seeing this, Davis Tut demands money from Hickok that he had lent him previously, but upon not receiving the full debt, Tut snatches Hickok's precious gold watch. Hickok decides not to confront him at that moment and remains calm to collect his winnings from the game he was playing. But the next day, Tut parades around town exhibiting the watch. Hickok cannot bear the humiliation and decides to confront him. At 6 p.m., Hickok walks to the town square with his Colt Navy 1851 revolver. Tut is on the other side at a distance of between 70, 75 yards. Hickok's Colt Navy is one of the most iconic and popular revolvers manufactured by the Colt Company during the 19th century. Created by Samuel Colt and first manufactured in 1850, its name Navy comes from its adoption by the United States Navy, although it was also popular among civilians and in the Wild West. The six-shot revolver became famous during the American Civil War, as both Confederate and Union forces used it. With a .36 caliber, it fires lead balls of about 9 mm, although some variants were also manufactured in .44 caliber. A single-action revolver, meaning the user had to manually cock the hammer before each shot. Reloading is done by removing the cylinder and placing the bullets and black powder in each chamber. The barrel has a length of around 7.5 inches grip was made of wood and, in some cases, had silver or mother-of-pearl inlays. Davis Tut takes the first impulse and draws. Instantly, Hickok draws his revolver and steadies it on the opposite forearm. They both shoot at the same time. Silence falls over the witnesses in the town square in Springfield. Tut has missed, but Hickok has hit his mark. Tut's body bleeds on his left side and collapses. Some manage to hear his last words, Boys, I'm dead. Hickok and his Colt Navy Model 1851 have survived, but not for long after, as on August 2nd, 1866, James Butler Hickok, called Wild Bill, falls dead from a gunshot to the back in Deadwood by a former poker opponent. 